Happy July. This is what we're doing for the month of July. We're launching the Intellectual Property School, but there's a new way to get in. Below is a link for you to fill out an application to get into the Intellectual Property School. You fill out the application, you answer a few questions, and if our goals align, if we're in the same space, then we will forward you a link to set up a free call where we can talk about you getting into the intellectual property school. So that link will be right below. So today we're about to get into some really good stuff in this video. So one of the things that you have to do when you're starting a business is you have to be very methodological. You have to be somewhat because I'm trying to find the right word here. You have to be very strategic and you have to be a planner. And it is in very, very important for you to run tests. Later on this year, I'm gonna start running ads. But, but before I run ads, there's gonna be a testing phase and there's going to be a methodology where I will test out the ad on a smaller budget, because let's go ahead and walk through the process. First, there's the creative, that's the ad itself. Then you would create two, three, four, maybe five different ads, and you would put a little spend on them. You wouldn't put a lot of spend, and I'll explain why in a minute. And then you run these ads and you see which one's the best. And then there's the testing of the ad, testing of the headline testing of the landing page, testing. Uh, there, there's a lot that goes into just running ads. Someone just says, hey, you should just run ads. And they don't really explain the whole process of running ads because you have a lot of people who will do a drop shipping store or maybe do something and they'll literally start running ads and they will throw a lot of money into these ads, right? And the thing is, Google and Facebook are optimized to run good ads. Now, what do I mean by that? The better your ad, the better your landing page, Google and Facebook will run your ads cheaper and they will run your ads over people who are spending more money. So, you know, uh, probably September, it just kind of depends, but I'm going to be starting to run ads and I got to go through my testing phase. And this is one of the things that you have to do in business. You have to run tests. You have to actually strategize like with this YouTube channel. Currently, I'm running another test and I'll explain to you why running tests is better than just jumping in. In the beginning of the year, I was doing some stuff where I actually bought a million subscribers. I bought an audience of a million people. Now, here's the thing that um, just didn't work out with buying this audience of a million people. I, I bought an email list and the cost was $10,000. And I would send out these emails and virtually no one responded, no one bit. And, you know, I was kind of somewhat hesitant to run this test, but it's been in the back of my mind. Now, I have a list of a million people that running emails to this list is just not the best way to activate this list. And this is funny. Years and years ago, when email was still brand new, I used to literally throw people on my email list and my open rates were like 70, 80%. And that was back in the good old days. So that's one of the things is you've got to run tests. And when I was creating the Craigslist uh, protocols, I ran multiple tests. You, you got to run tests. And like with running ads, you run your test, right? And then you go ahead and vet out which ads are more creative. Like, let's say 
you create five ads. Add A, and then we go to E, A, B, C, E, D, A, B, C, D, E. And then you run ads, and you, you go ahead and find out that ad copy C is the most productive. Uh, the people really like ad C. So you would get rid of A, B, and you would get rid of D and E. And you would go out and you would create another ad copy. But since we already have one ad that's winning, now we know that ad works. The goal of that ad is to get people to the landing page. So we know that works. Now we got to start testing the landing page. Yes, we got to start testing the landing page because there's the ad creative, there's the headline, there's the landing page, and then we test out the landing page, okay? So we have the ads that get people to the landing page, and then we have the landing page that gets people to either a strategy call or our offer. And this is one of the things, because uh, I've run a bunch, a bunch of tests. I've run a ton of tests on this situation where I just didn't understand the, well, let me explain like to you like this. When you come out in business, you have a hypothesis. You have an ideal of how things are going to go. That's the concept that is in your mind, right? So you have it in your mind, but you don't know if it's going to work. And this is one of my favorite quotes by me, Glendon Cameron, until it's exposed to the marketplace, you don't know if it's going to work. I don't care how much time you put into it. I don't care how much you plan it. I don't care how much you work on it until you actually expose this to the marketplace. Um, you're just not going to know. And this is one of the reasons that I run tests because um, I feel that spending $10,000 on the contacts was rather expensive, but I found out some stuff. Now I have information that buying email list is one of the worst things you can do unless, unless you have another methodology. Now I can use these email lists for paid advertising. I can go ahead and put them into my Google AdWords or I can put them into my Facebook account and I can run ads to these people because that will be a target. And I don't really know if I'm going to do that per se, but you know, you, you got to run tests. I've run multiple tests on the YouTube channel. Uh, number one, I've run social experiments. Um, not going to do that anymore because one of the things that I learned from running those tests was that people got pissed. Uh, I had a friend who was pregnant and I just posted her picture up and I was like, yeah, I'm going to be a father. And people were upset. So there will not be any more social media experiments like that. There just won't be because uh, a lot of people listen to you. They take advantage and, you know, the comments were great. It's like, you're going to be a great dad. Congratulations. You know, so one of the things that you have to do from a business methodology is run tests. And this is one of the things that I think that trips up small, um, smaller entrepreneurs that don't understand the testing phase. And I, I keep mentioning ads because that's something I think you can understand because literally you go to Reddit, you go to forums, you'll see people. I spent $2,000. I spent $10,000. I spent $50,000 on ads. Here's the thing. If $500 ad spend doesn't sell your product, $50,000 of ad spend will not sell your product. And this is one of the things that people are unaware of because just getting money and buying ads and putting ads in front of people isn't a winning strategy unless you go ahead. Like once again, you 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 got your ad, you got your landing page, you got your 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 creative or your strategy call. And there there's so many things that you have to do correctly and before you even get to the money you, you have to situate it because, like I said, uh, I'm getting ready, like I said, to run some more tests because right now I'm running a test 
and I'll talk to this test because it's going to be really, really relevant to my uh, my students. And it's for me, it's kind of amazing. It's just amazing because uh, I am not going to put this information out here on YouTube because what happens is when you take information like that and throw it out to YouTube, people kind of go nuts. And I'm running a test and I'm going to run this test this whole month of July. And I'm going to see what this test will yield. And one of the things is like when I was creating the Craigslist protocols, I had to test the headlines. I had to test also very, very, very important. I would test the first paragraph because over the years, uh, this is one of the things, and this is something I knew years and years ago from selling stuff on eBay that people do not read ads. So you have to get as much information in those first four to six sentences, maybe 10, because you can have this whole ad, you can have it well written out and people will not read it. Uh, once again, uh, I'm trying to sell a car and I've got a long ad and I, I've got a video and I have people who will answer the ad, but they haven't looked at the video. They haven't looked at the videos because people don't read ads. So this, this is one of the things that you, you've got to learn is uh, also I'm doing some tests with my emails. I'm running tests with my emails. And this is another thing that I'm doing because I'm always testing things out always testing things out, always looking at um, different things. And, you know, professional training, I used to be a medical laboratory technician. So it's kind of in the blood to run tests, to look at things, to have things situated in a certain format to go ahead and get things going. Because you, you, once again, there, there's so many things you have to test. And this is why when I see on YouTube, I tested drop shipping for 30 days. I tested drop shipping for a week. The timelines or the time frame for testing should be about 90 days. Like once again, I'm running some tests for 30 days and I've already, I'm running tests and I'm already seeing, um, a lot of positive signals, really, really positive signals, but I'm going to run that test July. I'm going to run that test August and I'm going to run that test. Maybe, maybe September because this is a very interesting test because uh, one of the things that you should know about running ads is there's a testing phase at the beginning of running ads. A lot of people are unaware of that. And this is one of the reasons that you want to start off with a smaller budget in the beginning, because like I said, if you could run your ads and spend maybe a thousand bucks and you can make sales, that's good. But if you spend a thousand bucks and you make no sales, there's something wrong. And this is one of the things that, um, <clears throat> people just don't understand because they're not done the research. I will say this information is online. This information is available. This information is out there for the people who want it. This information is there, but a lot of people just do not do the necessary deep dive and due diligence because like I said, when I spent that money to get these email lists, um, it was somewhat apprehensive because I was like, is this going to work? Because, you know, in my mind, if I can get, it was really, I actually bought a list of 500,000. And if I can get a 10% conversion rate, which would have been 50,000 people, it would have been well worth the money, but nothing happened. These people completely ignored me. And once again, you know, <clears throat> this whole thing of getting customers, at the moment, I get my customers from an inbound lead source, YouTube. 
and I'm getting ready to do some more stuff. I'm getting ready to get back into sales. I'm getting ready to get back on the phone. So there's a lot of things that are going to happen as we work on our business, but whatever business that you have, you've got to run tests. And this is going to be some stuff that's going to be in the training for the intellectual property school. Um, there's, there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to go down here in July that we're going to be talking about. Because, you know, there, there, there are so many ways that you can do things to make money if you know how to do these things. And this right here is a, <clears throat> a big issue for a lot of people that do not understand the things that you need to do to facilitate customer interest. And there, there's so many things. There's, my head is just full of all of these concepts that things I have done in the past, things I'm currently doing, and things that I will do in the future to get customers. And one of the things that you have to look at and understand is the whole prospect of creating a situation where you are operating from facts. You're not operating from, oh, and I feel it in my gut. No, no, you need to be operating on facts. You need to be operating on reliable data. You need to be operating on things that you know are really very much in tune to the things that you're doing. And this is where the testing and the running test and creating test, and like the whole thing, like if you're gonna run ads, I just saved you a lot of money because there's many people like, I don't know, I know about Facebook ads, I know about Google ads, don't know about TikTok ads. Uh, and I know a little bit about Pinterest ads. I know a lot about Instagram ads. And all of these ads work on how good it performs. And if the ad performs very well, Facebook, Instagram, and Google will push it harder and they will push it cheaper than, let's say you had some ads, and let's say you had a million dollar budget, right? And you put up some ads, you had a million dollars, and your ads were, crappy. They would not go as far as someone who has maybe a $10,000 budget that is running uh, tested ads, tested creative, tested landing page, and they're getting conversions. They will do way better than you will with your million dollar budget. And a lot of people are like, what? Don't they just want the money? Here's the thing. Google, Facebook, and Instagram work on this theory. If Google recommends an ad and the ad performs well, that's good for the person running the ad, but that's also good for Google. Google doesn't want to have a reputation that we're running a bunch of crappy ads. They don't really want that reputation, and this is why the pricing structure is the way it is. If you're running bad ads, you're going to pay a lot more money, and I'm talking about a significant amount of money to run bad ads, and this is just going to be really, really terrible in terms of you having an ad that converts and makes your business money. It's just going to be terrible. But once again, running uh, ads and testing and doing these things are really, really important for your business. They're really important for you doing things and for your business to make money. Once again, this is some stuff that we'll be talking about in the Intellectual Property School we will be getting into a lot more things that are happening in this space. So once again, if you're running a business, you need to run tests. You need to have a little laboratory of things that you can do to test out concepts before you make very large expenditures. And this is one of the reasons like, you know, you will see some ads that I'm getting ready to run once again, we'll run the ads probably, I would say September, October is when we'll start running the ads. And then, you know, once again, 
I'm running tests here on the YouTube ad, the YouTube channel. You see ads in my videos. That's a test. And once again, we will see how these things work as we go along. All right, so that's all I got for you guys. And for those of you who want to be part of the Intellectual Property School experience, go below, hit the application, and if our, if our alignments, if the way that you fill out the application is in alignment with what the things that we want to do for the International, for the Intellectual Property School, then we will set you up for a free call to go over the things that you will get in the Intellectual Property School. So that's all we got. My name is Glendon Cameron. I will see you guys in the next video.